Yo, what's up? We are now getting close to Yalo and I'm sitting in a Volvo XC40 fully electric and you know I just want to talk about snow driving safety and Model 3 because I made a video about a year ago about you know how Model 3 is configured because um, you have to understand how it's 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 set up um, the Model 3 Wait, let, let me just let me just uh, comment a little bit because we're gonna run out of uh, slippery roads. But the surface here is maybe ice on the bottom, but then some compacted snow on top. And I have uh, Continental Viking Contact Seven. They are one of the best, or maybe the best studless tire out there right now. It's supposed to beat Nokian R3 even. But you see, when I go on a curve like this, I can accelerate. I can even brake. And it doesn't do any weird shit uh, in case we have a moose or something. Uh, let's see here, we can accelerate a little bit on the uh, on the uphill. It does it nice and fine. I feel like the XC40 is set up to uh, to do maybe 50-50 uh, distribution power of front and rear. And let's say here, if I just full region in a curve, it doesn't lock any rear wheels because it also regions evenly. Uh, Maybe that's why it's kind of thirsty, but at least the XC40, it only has one mode, the default mode, and it it performs really good in, in these kind of conditions. Uh, the same thing with the uh, I-Pace I tested recently uh, to Yalo. Uh, I-Pace has a snow, ice, uh, rain mode. Uh, I just call it the snow mode on, I, on the I-Pace. Default, when you do run it on the, e, the regular mode, uh, comfort mode, it will have somewhat strong region and yeah also somewhat uh, high power output if you just alter it like this but in snow mode I, I noticed that region goes half or something low it cuts the region lower and it also tries to ease off so you don't accidentally hammer like this um, so when I use snow mode on the eye pace the eye pace feels rock solid on on typical surface like this model 3 on the other hand is not i complained about this before um, the model 3 has the most efficient motor in the rear axle the permanent magnet motor and the tesla has set it up so that it will try to use the rear motor most of the time but I feel like if I could tap into the BMS uh, in, uh, I mean not the BMS, the, the canvas on, in the XC40 or uh, I-Pace, I, I would guess that they distribute the power 50-50 or 60-40 or something. But then the Model 3 is like <laughs> zero power to the front motor and only rear wheel drive. Unless you start spinning a little bit, then the front motor kicks in. But it's too late. Many times it's too late. So I... I uh, last time I made a video about this I also showed you uh, scan my Tesla and show you all the numbers maybe it was a little bit confusing so this time it would be more like a podcast demonstration while I'm driving and what would usually happen with a Model 3 is that if we regen too hard you know, in a curve like this a region the rear wheel will lock uh, it, it that moment, that one second where the rear wheel locks in a, in a curve is not a good feeling. But then usually it gains control again. Let's say here, we're, going, we're coming to a right turn now. I'm going to try to explain to you what usually happens in a Model 3. Let's say you come over here and then you realize that, oh shit, uh, I'm, I have too high speed. You start regening. Now, the, see, the, the XC40 does it perfectly. It regens on all four, four wheels more evenly, but the, the Model 3 would region a lot on the rear wheel, lock the rear wheel, I get like <gasps> for a bit. And the same thing also when you accelerate. Let's say here, here we come to a slight left turn. If I accelerate maybe a little bit too hard with the Model 3, the back end kicks in. And yes, I know m lots of people say will say that, oh yeah, I like it like that. I want I want the back I, I want oversteer, yes. But you might want oversteer, I don't want oversteer. I want more even distribution of power. I want permanently front rear to be 50-50 or 60-40. Uh, it will most likely suck more power. It will be thirstier, but I don't care. Uh, 
I just want to have some kind of snow mode you can enable, just like in an iPace. Why, why can't we get it? I mean, Tesla, they have the best cars in the world, but they can't offer us a snow mode uh, so we can feel more confident when we're driving a Model 3. Now, the problem is not in the Model S and X, uh, because in S and X, the, the permanent magnet motor is in the front, and then the rear is the, the induction motor. So S and X will actually be front wheel drive most of the time. So X and X might understeer a bit because of that. But when I drive, uh, when I, I remember I even drove the Model X, the Model X was acting way, way more confident, way safer because it was using the front most of the time and then it kicked in the back. But then it, you don't get that wiggling of the tail all the time. So yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Hopefully Tesla would watch my video and consider making a snow mode and if you agree my viewers if you agree with me please comment and please try to convince e uh, Elon <laughs> or Tesla to uh, to uh, implement a snow mode because uh, me alone Tesla's not going to listen to me maybe Tesla listened to me in the old days but Tesla has grown pretty big now they might listen to us if lots of people are, are bugging Tesla about uh, something. For example, sentry mode or uh, camper mode, dog mode or something like that, you know. If enough people bug about it, they request it, Tesla will listen to the customers. So, um, yeah, I mean, again, you know, I can see all the hate comments out there. Be like, ah, oh, Bjorn, you know, you're a noob, you, you, you don't... You want to oversteer. No, again, I don't want to oversteer. I want even distribution. Uh, you you might have your own style of driving, but I don't. I want for like 50-50 or something like I keep saying over and over again. So hopefully other people agree with me. You don't have to agree with me, but if you agree with me, please let me know. So, all right, we are now at uh, Yalo. <laughs> and I have completed the XC40 Yalo test. Yeah, awesome. So anyway, I think that's going to be it for now. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.